Let's talk a little bit about writing equations of lines. So we want to write the equation of a line that has a slope of negative 3 fourths and a y-intercept of 2. So m is negative 3 fourths and b is 2 in the equation y equals mx plus b. And we simply plug in the m and the b and we're done. We struggle a little bit with negative numbers, so let's try one with has some negatives in it. So y equals mx plus b, so y equals negative 2 thirds x plus a negative 4. Well, what's plus a negative 4? That is the same as minus 4. All right. And this could even be given a different way. If it said a slope of negative 2 thirds and passes through the point 0 comma negative 4, if it's 0 comma negative 4, that negative 4 is your y-intercept or your b. All right, let's try one where they don't give us the y-intercept. We have a slope of 3 fourths, and it passes through the point 8 comma 2. I'm going to do this in two different ways. The first way, I'm going to use the point slope e equation of a line. And I have my x1 and my y1 with the 8 and the 2. And I'm just going to plug those in in my equation. So y equal, minus 2 equals 3 fourths times x minus 8. And I'm going to distribute the 3 fourths through, and we'll get 3 fourths x minus 8 times 3 fourths. And we know 8 times 3 fourths is 6. So I want to add my 2 to both sides so that I'm in the form of y equals mx plus b. And we have it. Now, what if we wanted to start right with y equals mx plus b? And we know our 3 fourths x, where x and y, we already have our 8 and 2. Let's plug those in. And we know that 3 fourths times 8 is 6, so 2 equals 6 plus b, subtract the 6. b equals negative 4, plug that back in, y equals 3 fourths x minus 4. Oh, we got the same answer, that's amazing. What if we just had a line that passed through two different points? So 1, 7 and negative 2, 1, I'm going to find my slope of my line first by going y equals, or excuse me, m equals y, or, oh my goodness m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We plug those in, and we get negative 6 over negative 3, which we know is 2. And now I'm going to go back to my point slope form again, and I'm going to plug my x1 and my y1 in, and my slope. And then I'm going to distribute the 2 through, and we'll have 2x minus 2, and I'm going to add that 7 to both sides so that I have it in the form y equals mx plus b, so y equals 2x plus 4. Five. Those are the ways to write equations of lines.